Hi everyone, welcome to this YouTube video. Today we're looking at some of my personal drills that I use to actually develop my hands, to condition my hands, to help with hand speed, and also to help sort out my weak hand, which in my case is my left hand, as I suppose with a lot of you people. So these drills, I do these every day, and how I work with these drills, I play a hundred bars of each little exercise and I do five exercises a day. So that's 500 bars of drills. I do a hundred bars each of five different drills and I do that 500 bars and then I stop. I don't keep playing for hours because I believe short frequent bursts of practice tends to develop you quicker and better than sitting there all day for four or five hours. So I do these 500 drills three times a day and they're over pretty quickly but through the rep repetition from doing these over and over again and multiple times a day I find that it really accelerates the condition of my hands. So what do I do with these exercises? Well, I'm working with, as I said, uh, every day 500 bars, so I'm doing 100 bars of each, so five different exercises. I always start very slow with a single stroke roll. Now, it's a really good idea probably to put a metronome on at a really comfortable speed for you, so don't try and play too fast, so you're, so you're trying to get over you know, the, the speed that you're trying to play at. Put it the metronome at a really comfortable place for you, 80, 80 um, beats per minute or 120 or even you know 50 if you have to. Whatever is comfortable for where you're at with your hands. So as I said, I start with a single stroke roll and I do it really relaxed and with my metronome that I have on my phone, it actually counts the bars for me. So I just do this I do my best to focus and make these beats as even as I possibly can. Then after 50 bars of it, I start to change what I do. I do 10 bars a bit faster. So I, I continue to play a little bit faster than I was. Double doesn't really matter as long as it's faster and as long as it's not too fast for you to play it correctly. So after the 10 bars, I go back to the speed I was playing it at for another 10 bars. And then, next 10 bars, I go back to that speed once again. And I continue through that exercise until I reach 100 bars. After I've done that, I reset my metronome back to zero bars, and I then do 100 bars of doubles in the same way. So I do the doubles at an even, try to keep it even, put it at a, a pace that's comfortable for me, then once I reach 50 bars, I do the 10 bars fast and then slow it back down again. So I do 10 bars a bit faster and I probably use my fingers a bit harder as well to really work them a little bit. But the most important thing is to stay relaxed while you do it. And then after 10 bars, I go back to a slower, even pace once again. So I do that for another 100 bars. Next, you guessed it, we're going to do three beats per hand. For 100 bars, exactly the same way. We're going to do 50 bars, trying to keep it even. After 50, then we're going to go faster for 10 bars and slow back down for 10 bars. So we're going to do threes, you know. So try and keep that really even. And when you get to 50, we speed it up. And try and use your hands a little bit more forceful, but stay relaxed. And then slow it back down again. And once again, that's for those 100 bars. After I've done those triples, my next 100 bars, I often like to play a double shuffle with builds. So we're doing a double shuffle. So both hands are just going da da. So I do one bar of that, and then I one bar of build. So I go one, 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you get the picture. Da 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 So once again, same procedure as last time. Once we get the fifty bars, we speed that up a little bit, and for ten bars, and then go back slow for ten until we get to the hundred bars. So you guessed, you get it? It's very simple. And for the fifth lot of 100 bars that I do in the exercise, I choose another rudiment and I change that rudiment every day. So normally, you know, at the start of the week, I'll start with maybe a flam tap, flam tap, flam tap with alternating taps. So exactly like all the other 400 we've just done, for 100 bars, we're going to do flam taps. And you guessed it, once we get to 50, we're going to do 10 bars faster. And then slow it back down again. So, we do that for another 100 bars. So that's 500 bars of practice. Once you get to those 500 bars, stop. Relax. Chill out, go and hop on your drum kit and play some tunes or whatever you want to do. You can do extra practice, but for these hand conditioners, we're only going to do 500 bars at a time. And as I mentioned earlier, it's a really good idea if you repeat those 500 bars multiple times through the day. Whether it's just once again, it's uh, you do these in the morning and then in the afternoon you do another 500. Or if you're really hungry and you want to develop quick, uh, do it three, four times a day. So morning, lunchtime, afternoon and evening if you want. The more you do it, the quicker you will develop. But as I said, do 500 and have a rest. Key points also about this exercise. Always play at a speed that you're able to do the technique correctly. So if you're playing too fast and stumbling over your, your rolls or whatever you're doing, you're playing too fast, slow down. If you're trying to play too fast, all you're going to do is start to tense up and then you're teaching your muscles to play in a tense state. And that's not a healthy way to play drums. The important thing is be conscious of being aware that you're really relaxed in your hands when you're playing, when you're doing these exercises. Well, actually not only when you're doing these exercises, when you're playing a live gig, or when you're playing your kit, always be really conscious that every part of you is relaxed. Your hands, your feet, you know, your posture. The more relaxed you are, the better you will sound in your playing. Plus, you're developing your ability to play in a relaxed state. So, very important to play these exercises in a relaxed way. If you're trying to develop speed, you don't build speed by trying to practice fast. Speed comes through repetition. So play it at a speed that's comfortable for you and repeat it over and over. And that's what naturally builds speed. So it's really, really important to um, be relaxed when you play. And be focused and be aware of if those hands when you're playing are even in their sound. Not a bad idea to do these exercises too in front of a mirror. Mirror work is really good to see if your hands are, both hands are doing the same thing. And the aim is to get them at the, developing and playing it the same way. That's really important. Okay, 500 bars. Do it once, twice, three, four times a day if you like. Keep doing that and I can guarantee you within a week, you're going to notice a massive difference on your hands. Uh, and just to recap, we're doing 500 bars. I start with a single stroke roll. After 500 bars, we're going to do 10 bars faster and back to the speed you started with for 10 and continue that to the 100 bars. Then you do double stroke. Same thing once you get to 50 bars. 
you do 10 bars faster and then go back to the original speed. After that, we're doing triples. Same thing again, 50 bars, once you get to 50, do 10 bars faster, 10 bars back at the normal speed until you get to the 100. Once you do that, you do your double shuffle with your build. Now your build, you can do it for one bar, or you can do it for a couple of bars if you want. It doesn't really matter. And then after that, pick another rudiment. You know, you can start the week if you want with a flam tap, um, you know, Rathamacures, triplets. Whatever you want, you know, roughs, uh, flams, uh, flam cures, you know, whatever. Just take your pick on any of the rudiments that you want to develop and play. So what I do is I do the first four every day and then the fifth 100, I change up the rudiments as I go through the days. Oh, and sometimes too, I'll change them up throughout the day. So I might start with a, a flam tap. And then the second time I do the 500, I might do a Rattamacure. It's up to you totally. So on that note, people, thank you for watching this video. I hope you've got something from this. And please, uh, I would love you to subscribe to my channel and click the like button. And please tell all your drum nerd friends that love, love developing their hands. Uh, tell them about this video. Send them a link or tell them to go to my my YouTube channel and get them to subscribe as well. That would be really, really good. Uh, and if you have something you would like me to discuss or, or work through for you in future videos, please leave a, a message in the, down below this video and we can um, look at that for future. On that note, people, thank you for watching once again. Happy drumming. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. And we'll catch you at the next YouTube video. Bye.